Hey, hey, what's up guys? This is probably the most request I get is uh, my setup and how I rig my snow machine or snowmobile or skidoo. In this case, that's a Renegade Enduro from Bombardier Skidoo. 600 HO. Uh, it's not the greatest to go ice fishing. That's why I have those scratchers. We'll go into details as to why there are scratchers on this slide. If you're gonna go out there and pick a, a snowmobile, you definitely wanna get a fan cooled one. Two stroke like this one's not the greatest. It needs snow to cool the engine down. So, so I bought that one about three years ago. It's pretty reliable. And we'll go through how I set it up for ice fishing because I, I get asked a lot how I set up my sled. So let's go. So like I said, it's a, it's a Renegade Enduro. Uh, 600 HO. I actually don't even trail ride. This got a air ride suspension so you can adjust it. I got the wheels put on because sometimes I do ride on the road. Um, so you can you can lift, lift the ski up and put your wheel down. So if you're riding on the road, but you can't go fast with those. So up here, you know, I, I have my fish finder. I made a, a, a mount myself out of aluminum thinking I would drill the, 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 the mount, but I've been using the tie strap and it does a pretty good job. It's on there solid and when I take it off, I just cut the tie strap. So it's actually much faster. It's super solid. I got an Elite 7 up here that I mostly use only on Lake Simcoe. I've got my map and uh, sometimes when I'm running gun, I'll plug a, uh, a nice deucer and go fish beside it. That's a really rare, 5% of the time. But I usually use this just for my GPS and making my way back. So sometimes you get, uh, white outs out there too that's important to have a gps or you're not going to make it back moving at the back oh before you go any further so that's a two-stroke sled so it needs to be cooled either fan cooled or liquid cooled this is liquid cooled the the chain throws snows under the ice here and it cools down the engine and those are ice scratchers so when i'm running they th they throw ice like this up there so it, it cools my runners down and it cools my my sled as well so that really helps so moving at the back, uh, it's a 137 inch long bridge. So I use the link kit that comes uh, standard for, um, the link kit that comes standard from Bombardier, you can buy it. So I can go like this, unclip this, just like that. And I can take it off. And, 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 and use the sled if I wanna go riding or if I don't need the, the carrying case. Now, in on the carrying case, I use Plano boxes. You know, uh, somebody made me a rack like this. I didn't do this, so that's soldered and, and professionally built. So, Plano boxes, I like them. I put all my stuff, so in here I'll put all my camera bag. All my stuff that I don't want to get beat up, I put in here. Mostly my camera bag and my fish finder. So in this one, it's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. And I'll, I'll, I'll screw in my fish finder in here. I got a little rod rack like this. I don't use this to travel. I just put it here in case I'm fishing by a snowmobile and I want to uh, clutter free. So I just put it in here. So in the second one, it will be all my camera bag. So my camera bag's in here. So if you want to be a YouTuber, you got to bring a big camera bag and and uh, and and put it in here. So and on the side, I got a shovel that's extendable. So you know, sometimes you get stuck with the snow machine, or sometimes you want to put snow around the around the fish the, the fish house. That's perfect for that. Tons of stuff, cool stuff you can do for a modification. So moving at the back, I got the otter lodge on this one and i also have the resort and i'll be honest with you guys i like the lodge better i like the bench seat better i think it's more comfortable uh, the seat in the resort is not as comfortable but you get more space i use both but i would say 60 to 70 percent of the time i'm using the lodge it's a bit lighter so all my stuff will come in here move into my my uh my auger i use a k-drill with a mud mixer i find the mud mixers it's a bit heavier than the drill but it's just easier to to drill i find it feels like a, a legit auger so i got the mud mixer uh, on special and uh i bought it and i always carry so let's say i'm guiding i'm not guiding right now but let's say i'm guiding i always carry a spare milwaukee drill in here so if anything happens my my 
gun cases like this. This is LB, this is mine. I've been doing this for a long time. That's how I carry my rod, because as you know, I like to use long rods. That's what she said. So my rods, I like to put them in a gun case like this. They don't get beat up. So moving on here, I got my, I got my propane eater. And if I'm with the if I'm with the sled, I'll, I'll bring the big 20 pounder on, especially with clients. I usually slide my rods under so they don't get beat up. And you have enough space. Like this is LB stuff in here, but I have enough space for a bunch of other stuff if I want to. So it's very roomy. So that's that's it. My uh, track is uh, my track has some uh, some studs on it. It's very useful when you're on glare ice. I'm not a sled guy, obviously, but that's how I rig, I rig my sled. I, I, I would suggest that if you're gonna buy a sled for yourself, you might want to look at the Tundra or um, a, 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 a fan cool sled. You don't need a lot of power to get out there and to tow. I had a 380 before and I honestly should have kept it. Uh, it's a bit lighter, but with this one, you don't get stuck. So yeah, that's it. I hope you like it. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We will see you. Hot damn.